What up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan? Coming with another video. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Just here, chilling at the house. Can't complain. So, today, I'm going to make a video how to buy books for cheap and what to look for when you buy books for cheap. Um, of course, online, Amazon.com is the best thing ever created. So, if you're one of them people who say you can't read or books are too expensive, then you have a problem because Amazon got cheap books. You can get books for a penny, a dollar, and sure, shipping and handling will be like $3.99. But to me, if you want to get your library up, Amazon is the place to go. But also, um, go to your local used bookstores. Um, I'm going to show you four books that I got today. And I actually got one free because I shop with them all the time. And, um, you know, they give you punch cards and stuff like that. So, um, I think she got me today, but that's a different story. I, I'm calculating in my head. Um, I should have had more stamps, but oh well, that's, that's neither here nor there. But let me make this video real quick. Um, let me show you the four books that I got. Uh, the first book I got is Twitter Tips, Tricks, and Tweets. Um, I got this for eight bucks. Um, probably could have got it online cheaper, but um, I was at the bookstore, so I just got it. The reason why I got this, um, just wanted to learn more about how Twitter works and um, different ways of utilizing Twitter and, and, and the things that I can do with the, um, Twitter as far as marketing and stuff like that. So I got this for eight bucks. Um, the next book I got is Vegan, The New Ethics of Eating. Um, anything that you can get about different eating habits, different diets, and, 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 and different ways of eating, you should just grab it and just grab it. This one, eight bucks also. Um, and she got me. I think she got me for, well, eight, sixteen, well, I don't know. Let me, sometimes you do the math, you just go there, buy books, and, but it's still cheap though, compared to going to, to borders or or the borders even exist anymore barnes and noble i go to barnes and nobles too but um that's when i really just go go in there and just want a book real quick i go to barnes and nobles this one is fix it and flip it um you can never know too much about real estate i believe real estate is a, a great investment if you know what you're doing and i also believe that you have to just do enough research and also have a mentor when you when you're dealing with real estate knowing um what to buy, what what to look for when you buy a property, um, how to fix properties, or if you have the money, you know you can always hire contractors, and that's if you're flipping it, you know. So, uh, fix it and flip it by um, Katie Hamilton and Jean Hamilton. Um, they're probably husband and wife, um, and they probably had an argument whose name they're gonna put in first, and they probably Katie, the wife won. So, <laughs> Katie and um. How to make money rehabbing real estate for profit. Um, I don't know what year this was written. I should have looked into it, but it, 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 information is information. Uh, 2004. 2004. So maybe some of the the tools won't work since you know the big big drop that we had in real estate during that time but real estate is picking up so you should be fine and the last book i picked up is secrets to social media marketing um by jillian or gillian paul poor gillian paul gillian um hopefully i didn't mess up his name too much but let's go by paul and um this is another uh a tool to use um if you're going to get into business social media is is going to is the place to be or or, or the place to go uh, free marketing sometimes so use the tools that you have it's, you, it's too many tools out there you can use to become successful um, we got YouTube we got YouTube free marketing where you can reach people across the world for free basically if you know what you're doing using YouTube so stop thinking um, uh, stop having this po uh, uh, what you call it poverty mentality where you think you need a, a storefront where you think you need a million dollars and the way you think you need to go get a loan to open up a business. I think the worst thing some people can do is get a loan for a business they're not making money in. How are you going to open up a business and, and you're not making money and, and, and you're going to go get a loan? Uh, stop, stop, 
Stop being scared and think outside the box. Go talk to people. Go out in the streets. Um, pass out your business cards. Um, do do the, the the crazy work that you need to do. Stop stop thinking you need loans. Stop stop thinking you need a storefront. When you got a whole the internet is making millionaires every day because people thinking outside the box. So these are the quick tip on how to buy used and, and, and cheaper books. I probably go to the free market and probably get books for a quarter. That's another way, the free market, pennies on a dollar, you can buy books. Um, if, you, if you're on a tight budget, you know, also online. I don't, I got away from poverty mentality and poverty thinking about getting free books online. But what I do is I'll buy the book and I'll probably buy, get the PDF online and, and buy, I would buy the book all the time and, and, and these people put in hard work so you sh they should get paid um, if they give the free if they get free product away then get the things for free but most of the time think about how you're gonna pay for it stop stop with the stealing and, and, and getting stuff off the internet for free um, that's a, a, a poverty mentality and, and, and if you keep thinking like that you're not gonna be successful oh you can get this for free or oh, you can get that for free remember pay for your books pay for your stuff and um, uh, a quick way on how to get free uh, cheap books. Um, I probably these are probably I probably, these are probably expensive when I pay for these books right here. But you know what? I was at the bookstore and I paid for it. Oh well. Um, my goal in life is to have a whole room full of books. So thank you for watching my video, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan. Signing off. One.